Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to flash your ESCs using an Arduino Nano. Now there's multiple reasons why you might want to reflash your ESCs. My own personal reason is so I can try out Boris B's new Betaflight. Now this new Betaflight only works on version 14 and 14.1 of BL Heli. But maybe you just want to try out the one shot feature for the first time. You're only going to need one bit of hardware to do this, and as you can see from these prices, it's extremely cheap. In fact, I paid about £3 for mine delivered. Just search on Google, Amazon or eBay for Arduino Nano, and when you see one of these, buy one. Mine arrived in about two days, and as you can see, it comes with all the pins, but we're going to need to solder these on. Anyone that's used to wiring up a flight controller will find this extremely easy. You can add all of the pins to the board just like I've done here, or if you want to save some of these pins for another project, just add a pin to ground and D3. Once that's done, plug the Arduino Nano into your Windows PC. As long as you're connected to the internet, it will then search for the latest driver and install it for you. You can see here I'm connected to Comp6. The software that we're going to use is called BL Heli Suite, and I'll put a link to this in the description. Once you've downloaded it and installed, run the software. On the software, choose Make Interfaces, which is the third tab along. At the top, you're going to want the Arduino Nano W slash Atomega 328. Keep the board rate at 57600. Now, it depends on what your bootloader is on the ESCs, whether it's Simon K or BL Heli, so you're going to choose the appropriate one. If you're not sure which bootloader is on your ESCs, don't worry too much about it. Just try one, and if it doesn't work, try the other. So you can see here that I've chosen the BL Heli bootloader. Remember earlier when I plugged the USB in and it said COM port 6? Well, I need to select this down here. The BL Heli suite is now flashing the Arduino Nano with the appropriate bootloader. As you can see, it's all flashed successfully. Now my ESCs came with the Simon K bootloader on it, so the process is the same, except you just choose Simon K this time. Again, all this is doing is flashing the Arduino Nano with the bootloader. Now we're ready to start actually flashing the ESCs. Mine is still connected to the quad, so one at a time I'm just going to pull it out and flash each one. You can then plug the ESC cable into the Arduino Nano. As you can see, the white cable goes to D3 and the black cable goes to ground. If your ESC has a 5 volt in the middle, just remove that for now. Here you can see I'm selecting SK, SK for Simon K and the bootloader Arduino USB linker. If you are flashing the ESCs while still connected to your quad, remember to remove the propellers. Don't forget to choose the COM port that your Arduino is plugged into. We know that mine is plugged into COM port 6, so make sure you select this, then press connect. At this point you'll want to plug the battery into the quad and power up the ESC. You can see that the button now says disconnect, meaning that we are connected to the ESC, so let's read the ESC and see what's on there. At the top we can see that we're on BL Heli revision 13.2. We can also see all of the changeable settings, but for now all we want to do is flash the latest BL Heli revision. So click the flash BL Heli button. You can see that the box has already selected the latest update, which is 14.1. Select this and then choose OK. We're now ready to flash the ESCs. Pressing yes will then add that flash to your ESC that is connected. This is all done in real time. Once the flash is done, it will then read the flash just to make sure that it's been wrote correctly. And as we can see, the flash was successful. At the very top, we can now see that our revision is 14.1. It's now if you want to, you can change any of the settings, but I recommend keeping it at the stock settings, including dampened light. And that's it, your ESC is on our flash with the latest revision. So now click disconnect and disconnect the battery. You should be able to follow this guide and do it with any ESC. As you can see, I've got some Afro 12 amps and I've removed the 5 volt cable from the middle. Of course the ESC is not connected to the quadcopter this time, I'm going to use some crocodile clips to add power.
This time when I powered up, you'll notice that there's something different. You can see that I have a lot more to choose from. I know that I'm using Afro 12 amps, so I need to choose Afro 12, and because I'm using a multi-rotor, I need to choose Afro 12 Multi. And it's as simple as that. As you can see, I now have an Afro ESC flashed with BL Heli 14.1, and I'm ready to stick this in any machine. So that's it for today's video guys, I hope you found it insightful, thanks for watching.